just taking a few breaths together to take in this sacred moment. Welcome everybody to this short ceremony. Uh, we've long anticipated this time and uh, we're very grateful for all of you that could come. In our thoughts, we remember all those who cannot be with us for COVID and for other reasons. So join us now as we begin our ceremony and appreciate those who are wearing their masks. Just remember the two, two arms length distance as you will. Thank you. Please have a seat. This is a story of a girl and a boy, Ellen Jennifer and Samuel O'Ryan, who met by chance and bonded over their passion for the environment. They never took themselves too seriously along the way. And so it was that after a year together, they became a long distance relationship, not just once, but twice. From Tallahassee to Jacksonville, from Boulder to Lafayette, to where we stand together today. This wedding is a starting point, six years in the making. This time exemplifies the love that they have nurtured, caring not only for each other, but for the natural world, working to create joy committed to spending time together and with their loved ones. This is the time now where we invite you all to offer your words of blessing, of good wishes, of love, either out loud or as you are here by your presence. What we'll do is we'll start here and we'll just work our way around just as you feel comfortable doing. <clears throat> So uh, these lines, and the ones that Sarah will say s shortly afterwards, are from a song called uh, Now and Forever. Uh, Chris was playing that prior to um, Ellen and I walking down the aisle. Uh, now I can rest my worries and always be sure. <laughs> <laughs> that I won't be alone anymore. If I'd only known you were there all the time, all this time. <laughs> Sometimes I just hold you, too caught up in me to see. I'm holding a fortune that heaven has given to me. I'll try to show you each and every way I can, now and forever, until the ocean doesn't touch the sand. <laughs> And has a multiple parter as well. You're surrounded by your loved ones and all are wishing you well as you create a brand new chapter in the story that's yours to tell. We talked about the memories you have yet to make together and the moments you've already shared to be carried with you forever. This is where the magic starts. When you both say your vows, you pledge to spend your lives as one, and because you love, you will now. So yes, here's to a future that is bright and warm and clear. But more than that, here's to right now and what it means to be here. Bless you. 
shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift his countenance up upon you and give you peace. Thank you all for your wishes spoken aloud and the ones that you hold in your heart. I know not everyone is comfortable standing and speaking, but your presence here is testimony to how you feel. This is the point now where we invite Cole to come and bring up the rings. Sam Mooneyhan, I adore you. You are loving, kind-hearted, silly, and playful. I am consistently humbled by your patience and by your loyalty. And I admire your resolve to be excellent and improving. <laughs> <laughs> you are my best friend, my accomplice, and my partner exploring the world. And I love you dearly. You are my soundboard when I have grand ideas scattering lists around the house. And you are my comfort in peaceful silence and in grief. Today, as I join my life with yours, I promise to cherish you each day with a kiss in the morning and hugs at night. I vow to leave my frustrations at the door when words would be harmful. I promise to soothe your aches and pains when I can and hold your hand through heartache. I am truly blessed to picture a future with you from today through eternity. I love you. Ellen, I couldn't be any more happy. You have been a friend and a confidant. You've gone with me everywhere. I'm so happy that we get to walk through nature and point at plants and animals and can have a blast in, even in the mundane. I love spending time with you. It hurts when you're away. I wish I could spend all my moments with you and I'm glad that we have the the strength and the friendship to trust one another as much as we do. I love you so much and I forgot my vows in the car so it's all I can remember. <laughs> Wonderful. You are beautiful and I'm so glad that you trust me and you take care of my phone because I forget my phone. <laughs> now you will feel no rain for each of you will be shelter to the other. Now you will feel no cold for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there will be no loneliness, for each of you will be companion to the other. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life ahead before you. May beauty surround you both in the journey ahead and through all the years to come. May happiness be your companion and your days together be good and long upon the earth. Treat yourselves and each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you together. Be tender, be gentle, and be kind. 
When frustration, difficulties and fear assail your relationship, focus on what is right between you. In this way, you can ride out the storms when clouds hide the face of the sun in your lives, remembering that even if you lose sight of it for a moment, the sun is there. And if each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and delight. Holy One, we give you thanks for this day, for this opportunity to gather together, to rejoice and celebrate this union. We pray a long and happy life together, starting today, a new beginning. We're so excited. And now all we'll Mr. and Mrs. Mooneyhan, you may seal it with a kiss. You may now go and have a few moments together. Oh,